Hey everyone, my name is Nolan and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at a new pixel-like 3D mobile shooter that's very similar to another game that I don't really know if I can like legally mention in this video, but um, yeah, we got a new mobile shooter that's going to be coming out uh, at the end of this month or I guess September 1st at the absolute latest for everyone to play on iOS, Android, and yes, even Steam. This mobile game has been built from the ground up by Squiddy and his team of developers and right now it looks like we got a pretty solid um, game in the works right now. We're gonna go over like what this game is gonna look like. Right now it's of course gonna be in its first release so it's not gonna be anything too special. It's not gonna be like a AAA rated game or anything like that right off the bat. However, we are going to have some very interesting new features on this mobile game, such as like no FPS cap. I'm pretty sure you could go up to like 1200 FPS when playing this game. There will be a multiplayer mode right on release, so you'll be able to play against people in team deathmatch and deathmatch, I believe. There will be duels also, if you guys are into 1v1s, there are going to be some duels and duels maps. There will be, I believe, about 40 weapons in this uh, new release, and after this release is going to start working on some more important stuff like a ranked mode and stuff like that the reason why i mentioned ranked mode is because that and other extreme challenges are going to be how you earn some of the rarest weapons in the game because he plans to keep the hardest weapons to get the rarest weapons to get and of course the best weapons to get so we'll just kind of go through this game right now i hopped into a discord call with the lead developer squiddy himself and we're just kind of gonna look at what this game is gonna look like right now Tiob, 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 skin. The Tiob skin? Tiob? This is gonna be in real Tiob. It's Tiob, bro. Oh my gosh. The price on that, dude. Don't change those. Don't change those. We're just testing out skins right now. Custom skins is very detailed. I know we have we have the whole thing set up on custom skins. Also, Andrew, you should finish that soon. I will add the upgrading system on the first update of the game. Upgrading will be in. That's why most guns are kind of like bad. Like this, for example, six damage. This, 13. Now they're common, so obviously they're going to suck. But um, yeah, some things are just going to be outright okay. And as you upgrade them, they'll actually be really good. Not really, really good. It depends on the rarity first, obviously. Rarity is um, rarity itself doesn't affect damage. Rarity is just a visual thing, but I want things to correlate. You know, like uncommon is, mm -hmm. eh, you know. So I'm not gonna make uncommon weapons intentionally really good, but you know, rarity itself. Like if you upgrade something from uncommon to rare, that won't increase damage by a certain percent, because that that's not really a good way to balance weapons. Because you know, every gun needs a certain type of upgrade for it. If you give all of them the same, it's just gonna uh change the meta in a bad way so whenever you upgrade a gun uh the first five times you or sorry the first 15 times wait what's it yeah the first 15 times you upgrade it um it'll get to um one rarity up and then you upgrade it 10 more times it gets to two rarities up and then you upgrade it five more times it gets to one rare or three rarities up so um a gun starts out at level zero or base i don't know what people are going to call it but a gun starts out at level zero max is level 30 and hmm. you can max something up to three rarities higher so for legendary the max rarity would be radiant and for mythics which aren't in the game and i only plan on adding like a mythic a year the max would be stellar so like this okay, awesome okay. stellar skin <laughs> um it's not it won't be stellar <laughs> most skins will all probably be common if they're free and then uncommon and rare depending on the detailing on them so yeah this Baby. is the these are the primaries we have one shotgun in the game the other ones are all normal smg 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 ar hybrid dual wielded this one's really good i by the way if you put this in the video uh everyone watching i highly recommend you use this gun if you have decent aim it, it's gonna be really good uh this is also gonna be way too good <laughs> okay i don't know why i call it the racer rifle we did it as a joke because of twitter Th this is the uh secondary area Obviously, every legendary is going to be really good. So I, if I say this is good, it obviously it's good. It, it's legendary. Uh, we have a burst right here. If you can hit your shots with your burst, I I would say this would be one of the biggest shredders in the game. It does only 10 damage. Uh, keep in mind, if you had a headshot, it does plus 50% damage. So, so 15. Yeah. So if you do a full burst on the face, it does 60 damage. If you go over here, we have melees. 
Um, what the heck? Damage on this. What? The sound is crazy. Oh uh, yeah. You can think my sound designer, some random guy on Fiverr that actually did decent. So I was shocked. Uh, Star Gleam. That's really Plasma good. Plasma Edge. This doesn't have a sound, so I'm using the knife sound for it. <laughs> this is the knife sound. And here's experimental. We have the acid charger, obviously default because it's gray. Uh, we have duality knife. If you hear an explosion, ignore that. It's just the projectile coming into contact. And for some reason, I haven't deleted the explosion sound from it. I should probably do that. Um, yeah, there's the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> we have cyber inferno. Whoa, that it that, that damage, particle thing is sick. To 15. Thanks. So, yeah, it, do, it only does four damage, but, like, if you toast someone with this... And, hold on, let, let me be a nerd real quick. So, according to my calculations, if you get four, well, that's 60 a second. So, if we get 100 divided by 60, that's one and two-thirds. So, it'll take one and two-thirds seconds to kill someone with this, which is pretty good, especially if it's a flamethrower, because you basically don't have to aim with it. You just spray like an idiot. And then we have <laughs> this really overpowered curse thing I probably should have never added into oh, the game. Oh, jeez. It's called Solar Flare. Uh, this thing can kill someone in two-thirds of a second. Holy cow. But it runs out of ammo very fast. With 300 FPS, dude? Holy cow. Oh, no. My PC gets 1,200 FPS on this game. You will not what the need heck? to worry about FPS. It's just that in the editor, your FPS is really lower. I don't know why. Holy cow. And then we have Tesla Shot, default sniper. It's... Okay, I, I was going to say it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> um, five capacity, 30 damage, so 45 on head. I mean, it's okay. That should do like 50 on head. Shots. I guess if you upgrade it, it will, right? Yeah, if you upgrade this, I'd say Max would probably do 40 on head. Maybe 41 or 42. But, um, yeah. On head? Yeah. No, 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 on body. Oh, okay, <laughs> that, okay, okay. Head, I was like, be your math yeah, isn't four. mathing right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So uh, Max level would do 60 on head instead of 45. Okay. It's a really good increase. Uh, we have Prime Sniper, Uncommon, 27 damage, 1.1 fire rate, 8 capacity. Actually, you guys can probably read, so I don't need to say that. Um, this is a very spammy sniper rifle. Okay. So, obviously, it's going to have a low damage output. Um, but it's got a fast reload. So, if you're looking for uh, a type of spammy loadout, if you're one of those really annoying people, maybe you might want this. Uh, we have Hydraulic Sniper Rifle. 41 damage, all this, you know, good, well-rounded stats. This is my favorite sniper, or one of them, at least. Oh, that sounds sick. Uh, we have Jacko Sniper. I have no idea why I put a Halloween gun in this, but at the same time, I like Halloween, so I'm not complaining. 37 damage. It's more of, like, it's basically this gun, but Halloween. I mean, look how close the stats are. 0 0.02 second difference. The thing is, I'm probably going to make the Jacko Sniper a bit better well, in terms of um, ammo, like at max rarity or max upgrade, I'm probably going to have the hydraulic do more damage without upgrading the fire rate much. And then on here, I might just make this thing have uh, more capacity and not as much more damage, you know, things like that. We have Sentinel shoots a bit more fast than the other ones, but, you know, because of that has a um, lower damage output, but it has a very nice fast reload. So it's um, it's a, more of a one of the solid snipers if you fire really fast and you can hit more shots. We have this gun. Uh, for reference, Techno because it says... Techno Optic Sharpshooter. Okay. Yeah, it says that because it shoots through walls. Oh. Um, I know you couldn't tell because it says single shot, single shot, single shot, single shot. <laughs> we haven't got the attributes to display on here yet. We're doing that tonight. So, yeah, this thing shoots through walls. Um, for a lot of people, I know people ask this question. Will damage get taken away if you shoot through a wall? I think that's stupid because it already takes a bit of skill to predict where someone is behind a wall. So, no, it does the same amount of damage. I actually to the like wall. that. I do like that. So, uh, if we get 45, so the headshot damage on Techno Optic is 67.5. So, if you hit someone in the face and then someone on body, it's a kill. Um, here's my favorite gun. This has area damage, time shifter, um, seven capacity, 110 movement, uh, 81 fire rate. I, I love this gun. There's a little clock on it right there. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna show the reload real quick. Holy cow. And then cow. we have this abomination. 
Uh, don't worry. It has a very slow reload time. I'll just show you. 200 damage. Yeah, so if you get max armor in the future and we add armor, it's still a one-shot on body. All right, next we have Geiger Cannon. It is shooting a blade. That's because I haven't made the part, uh, the, not the particle, the bullet for it. So if you see this thingy flying in the air, ignore it. it, it, it the ghost put it there. Who is spooky? Halloween's near. Yep. Huh. Wait, hold on. What's it, it going to shoot out? Because it's like a radiation thing, right? I'll figure it out. Probably... I'll probably do a particle system for it. This, which shoots, it, it, they're just invisible, don't worry. They're just invisible. It'll shoot those rockets. I just haven't put that and particle there. It actually there puts the rockets in the correct Why? Are, why is the blade flying? Did right you here? see that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Why? Are, oh my god. <laughs> oh, what <laughs> the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like I was saying, it actually puts the rockets in the hole, un uh, unlike Pixel Gun, which just puts a rocket in the same hole four times. <laughs> God does that with like armor yeah. or whatever. Uh, well, I mean, it's a rocket launcher. There's not really like I don't, I don't get how. We have the Isotrode. I I like the reload. This isn't the actual sound for it. I haven't got the sound for it yet. You slap the gun. This thing is area damage. I do not take these stats seriously. Take them with an amount Everest of salt because I'm probably going to nerf it before it's out because 45 damage with area damage is quite a bit. Also, another question that no one had, but it, you should probably know. Um, the way area damage works, uh, if you're in the area damage area, you take the amount of damage based on how far you are from the explosion. So if something does, does an explosion of one block of a radius and you're halfway away from the, from the epicenter of the explosion, you take half damage. Okay. So like with this, for example, to do 31 damage, you would need to actually hit them. Yeah. And if you, if they do air, if you hit them on the side and it does area damage, you're probably only gonna do like 15 damage. So, area damage is balanced. I yeah. hope. Yeah, that's about it. And then we have uh, the best skin. This is the skins area that is not finished. T and we have. Why is it playing the empty ammo sound when I get XP? Um. Yeah, here's settings. I don't really know what there is to say about settings. I mean, Wait, what did, did that say low. dubstep? Oh, it did say dubstep. <laughs> yeah, Lobby we music, have two. Dubstep. Oh, Battlefield and dubstep. Okay. Yeah, I know. We have this. It's not working because we haven't set it up yet because we were still recoding guns at the time. Um. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. This is going to be a toggle versus hold the scope button. Okay. Uh, Inverted camera. Accounts. This is my very first pixel gun account ID. I don't know how I remembered it, but uh, oh, English. <laughs> oh, English. <laughs> English. 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 No English. Other language exists. Oh. Yo, I gotta go. So guys, yeah, this game looks pretty dang promising. You guys may be wondering what your incentive to be to play this game right after release. Well, basically, it'll give you a head start on the massive leveling system there's gonna be. There's gonna be like over a hundred levels, I think, and it's gonna be different than Pixel Gun as far as leveling goes. Your weapon damage and stuff is not gonna be be based on what level you are. Just leveling up will earn you guys some rewards and prestige, not like actual performance. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, you can get a head start on that. And if you guys want to wish list this game right now, I'll put a link down to the Steam page down in the description. And also, guys, it should be released by September 1st for all platforms so you guys can play this game. So hopefully you guys look forward to this as much as I do. It should be pretty fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.